All right, welcome to the video. I'm Jason Greystone, and my goal is to help you build wealth and grow your money so you can live your best life. In my last video, I went over the first in this series of four videos on journaling your trades. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that one first. In this video too, I'm going to talk about figure focus. What to focus on in terms of figures, the numbers. I'm gonna show you why most traders get discouraged and give up so that you don't do that and you actually see this through to a wildly profitable income stream. And at the end, I'm gonna share with you a little secret statistic that not many traders know, so stay for that. Right, so most rookie traders focus on their account balance. One of the first things that I learned in trading is that in the short term, it's very wise to ignore the small fluctuations on your account balance. Now, of course, that might feel uncomfortable to ignore your balance at first, but I promise it will dramatically improve your consistency. The issue with focusing and concentrating on your account balance is that it shifts your priority towards making money instead of sticking to your strategy and not losing too much on any one trade. Your trading plan should always be your guide and making money is purely a side effect of following your trading plan. Now, depending on your level of attachment and emotion, I know people who have put uh, a post-it note on their screen or hidden the balance from their platform, the P&L, and it's not just losing money or drawdowns, it can also help when you know you're, you, you have cockiness in a winning streak when your balance is high. Now, naturally, yes, you wanna see profits, but without putting the figure into perspective by using what I would recommend as percentage growth, it can lead to either disappointment, which is undue, or euphoria, which is usually short-lived. One trader told me once that they made $1,700 profit in their first four months, and that represented an average of $98 profit per week. And he was disappointed and frustrated because he had been following all the rules. Here's the thing, he only started with a $4,000 account. So essentially, he had made close to 10% profit per month, which is phenomenal. And if you can make two, three, four, five percent per month in a $5,000 account, then you can make two, three, four, five percent in a seven figure account. Which brings me on to my next point, which is think and speak in terms of monthly and annual percentage returns, not monetary value. Understand that the skill required to generate 4% monthly return on a $50,000 account or even a $5,000 account is virtually identical to the skill required to generate a 4% monthly return on a half a million dollar account. So you have to understand compound interest, set long-term goals, and then believe in your ability to generate the account equity that you need to build a significant and stable trading portfolio account. Just to put that into perspective, did you know that if you double a penny every day, your money will return $10 million after one month? That's crazy, right? But what's interesting is that on day 17, you still only have $655. So the compounding takes place in the last quarter of the month to generate astronomical results. Same in your trading. Many traders overestimate what's achievable in a very short space of time because of the way it's portrayed in the media. They think it should be easy, etc. But when they realize there's a bit of work to do and a bit of work involved, they then underestimate what's achievable in a two to three year period, which is where the magic happens. And the sad thing is most traders give up at that point. So the key takeaways here are focus on percentage returns, not the actual monetary value. Make sure you're not too attached to the P&L and focus on the process rather than the monetary gains in the short term particularly. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you a process that absolutely no one talks about anywhere online. It's what I learned from an institutional trader many years ago and I'm going to share with you the entire process to transform your trading so you can be the absolute best trader that you could possibly be. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Until then, go and check out my other video on my trading for beginners or my full walkthrough trading strategy on one of the ways that I trade the trend. It's all free and it's all yours on this channel. So until next time, stay wise, keep your money, don't lose your money, and I'll see you in the next one.